is Captain Chaudhary. Today I'm going to speak about uh, trimming, how the vessel trims, what is the principle behind the trimming and uh, uh, probably the derivation of the famous formula that MCTC is equal to WGML upon 100L. First of all, uh, let us try and understand what is this moment. Moment is force into distance. For example, if you consider this as a rock and uh, for example if you consider this as a pivot and this as a massive rock what you're trying to do is apply a force you know uh, to topple the rock if the pivot point was here probably the toppling would be easier that is because this small force multiplied by this large distance is equal to this large force multiplied by small distance. The great scientist Newton had said that if you give me a place to stand outside the universe and give me a long pole, I can topple the earth. So that is the power of moments. Moments is force into distance. Now let us see. Now let us see how this moment uh, is applied in case of a ship. Let us consider this to be a ship. So here is the ship, this is the water line. If I show you the plan view of the water line, it might appear like this. Now this water line has got an area which is called water plane area. Water plane area. And where is the centroid of the water plane area is called center of rotation. So let me mark this point as center of flotation. So in respect of the ship, center of flotation is a very important uh, concept because this center of flotation is the centroid of water plane area. This center of flotation is a point over which longitudinally over which the draft of the ship, the true draft of the ship, that is the hydrostatic draft of the ship is measured. Also when uh, you consider the change of trim or when you consider the pitching of the vessel, the vessel pitches about or changes the trim or trims about this point. So if we consider this or if we, if we compare the ship to a seesaw that you see in the garden, okay, then this pivot point is center of flotation and this bar that you see is the ship. If you consider loading, discharging or uh, longitudinally shifting the weight, it changes the trim of the vessel. It changes the trim of the vessel because a moment is caused about this pivot point, center of rotation. Right? So if we load anything forward of center of rotation, we are causing forward trimming moment. If we discharge anything from here, it is going to cause aft trimming moment. If we load something in the aft part, it is going to cause ATM and when we discharge something from here, it is going to cause FTM. If we shift any weight from forward to aft, not necessarily beyond the center of rotation, just a mere shifting of a weight in the aft direction, it will, it will cause ATM and shifting of the weight in the forward direction will cause FTM. So, uh, forward trimming moment, aft trimming moment, a number of forward and aft trimming moment, etc. can be accumulated and the total trimming moment or residual or, res or resultant trimming moment, <coughs> resultant trimming moment divided by 100 MCTC will give you trim change. Resultant trimming moment upon 100 MCTC will give you trim change in meters. So what is this MCTC? MCTC is moment to change the trim by one centimeter. 
Now, moment to change the trim by 1 cm can be found by a simple formula that is MCTC is equal to W that is the displacement of the ship multiplied by GML which is the vertical distance from center of gravity to longitudinal metacenter divided by 100 times the length of the ship. We are going to derive this formula. If I uh, load a weight uh, W say longitudinally at a distance of D from the center of rotation I am causing a trimming moment is equal to WD. Now this WD divided by displacement of the ship is going to give me GGL. GGL is center of gravity gets shifted in a longitudinal direction in the direction of weight that is loaded. So if I load a weight over here at a distance of D from the center of rotation, the center of gravity of the ship now if you assume that this is center of gravity of the ship, this is center of buoyancy of the ship, the center of gravity of the ship is going to shift in the direction of the weight that is loaded and that distance is given by GGL is equal to WGM, GGL equal to W into D upon displacement. Now uh, this shift of center of gravity, the shift of center of gravity is going to I mean, uh, this is this can be considered as the ship's trimming lever, which is responsible for trim change. There is a point vertically above the center of gravity. Let me explain it with this diagram. Now, here is the original G. Here is the shifted G. Now, if I draw a line vertically above the center of gravity, what happens is because of this shift of center of gravity, what happens is the vessel tends to trim by forward. And because the vessel trims by forward, what happens is there is a buoyancy wedge over here. This buoyancy wedge Get shifted over here. And because of this buoyancy wedge getting shifted here, the center of buoyancy of the ship also shifts forward. So what happens is when I shift a weight forward or if I do a loading in the forward direction, forward of center of rotation, G shifts to G1 and wedge shifts in forward uh, direction this uh, wedge which is formed you know with respect to the center of rotation there is a wedge aft of center of rotation there is a wedge forward of the center of rotation this is called immersed wedge and this is called immersed wedge so this gets immersed so buoyancy of the wedge shifts from here to here and because of that because the buoyancy shifts from here to here the ship's center of buoyancy also shifts in the forward direction now if I say after trimming the vessel has to be in equilibrium it means that the center of buoyancy that is a new center of buoyancy and new center of gravity also should be in a vertical line perpendicular to this line you understand this new center of buoyancy and new center of gravity have to be in a vertical line which is perpendicular to the new water line and when I draw this perpendicular it meets the original perpendicular at a point called longitudinal metacenter. So you can see that there is a right angle triangle that is formed uh, between GG1 and GML. Now this right angle triangle that is formed, right? Uh, or let us consider this right angle triangle as GG1 ML. GG1 ML is a right angle triangle. Now this right angle triangle that is formed in a way is similar to the right angle triangle that is formed by the length of the vessel and the total trim change. So a trim change upon LBP can be stated as GG1 upon GML. Trim change upon LBP 
is equal to gg1 upon gml so uh, can i say gg1 upon gml is equal to trim change <coughs> upon lbp if we consider the trim change to be 1 cm so in place of trim change i will write 1 upon 100 and in place of gg1 if i write uh, w d upon displacement wd is nothing but trimming moment so a trimming moment if i put on one side rest everything i take on the other side it becomes uh, displacement gml upon 100 l So trimming moment which is required to change the trim by 1 cm is called MCTC. So therefore we can say MCTC is equal to delta GML upon 100 m right. So this MCTC uh, this formula is true for the ship shape vessel also and box shape vessels also. So uh, MCTC is equal to delta GML upon 100 l. Now, once we have got the total trim change, now what is the component of uh, the trim change forward? We can call that as TRF. And what is the component of trim change aft? We can call it TRA. There is a very standard formula you need to remember. If I uh, uh, cause some trimming moment to the ship and because of that total trim change TRC is there, then the aft component, that means change of draft aft, purely due to change of trim, that is called TRA, should be equal to TRC into LCF upon LBP. And TRF, of course, will be TRC minus TRA. So uh, the, the change of draft aft because of trim change is equal to TRC into LCF upon LBP. And change of draft forward because of the trim change can be considered as TRC minus TRA. Now please remember if TRA is positive, TRF has to be negative. And if TRF is positive, TRC has to be negative. They cannot be of the same name. And TRF plus TRA is equal to TRC. Let us try to understand uh, this with a simple numerical say uh, let's say there is a ship uh, there is a ship whose length is uh, let's say there is a ship whose length is 140 meters and LCF is equal to 65 meters TPC is equal to 24 and MCTC is equal to 236 drafts initial drafts forward were 7 meters out were 8 meters so what are the new drafts going to be assuming that the MCTC uh, remains same and LCF remains same for uh, a small change of draft now what we have done basically is uh, a weight equal to hundred and fifty tons is loaded at a point uh, say 40 meters forward of center of rotation so this is the question the ship's original draft 7 meter 8 meter ships length 140 LCF uh, 65 meters TPC 24 MCTC 236 we have loaded 150 tons about 40 meters forward of the center of rotation so uh, forward trimming moment that is caused FTM will be equal to 150 into 40 bodily sinkage is going to be 150 divided by 2400 150 divided by 2 0 0.063 meters. Now, when I have loaded the weight forward, the trimming moment 
will be uh, 150 into 40 as I said and therefore the trim change will be trimming moment 150 into 40 divided by 100 MCTC. MCTC is 236. So let's see 150 into 40 equal to divide by bracket starts 0.254 is trim change. Now if I have to find the uh, four and a half component of the trim change that is the change of draft because of uh, trim change alone then this will have to be multiplied with uh, 65 and divide by the length this gives me TRA equal to 0 0.118 TRA is equal to 0.118 and because the weight is loaded forward TRA is going to be negative and TRF is going to be TRC minus uh, TRA that is 0.136 so 0.136 positive is the TRF now how to get the final draft what I do is I write down a procedure that is called standard trim format so initial uh, forward, forward and half drafts are 7.0 0 0 0 8.0 0 0 0 bodily sinkage is 0 0.063 it will add the draft 0 0.063 TRA is minus 0 0.118 TRF is plus 0 0.136 so this is how I get the final draft so final draft forward is 7.199 and final draft aft would, aft would be that is 7.945 so this is how I find out for an aft draft now the procedure is simple uh, I load a weight forward this gives me forward trimming moment and forward trimming moment divided by 100 MCTC gives me trim change and trim change gives me TRA and TRF standard trim format means initial four and a half draft first I apply bodily sinkage which is positive for forward and half draft and then I apply TRA which is minus TRA TRF which is plus and I get the final draft 